Hello, my name is Aaron Cavanagh and I'm the founder and editor-in-chief of PostBurnout.com. PostBurnout.com is a culture website dedicated to venerating burnt-out artists the world over. This is our website's podcast where we publish full-length recordings of our interviews, which are sometimes the unedited versions of our site's articles and at other times our exclusives. If you're a returning listener, thank you for coming back, and if this is your first time listening, thank you for checking us out. We hope you enjoy and consider subscribing, giving the episodes a thumbs up if you're on YouTube, or giving it a rating if you're anywhere else. It really helps us out. Thank you. All right, so back in January, I went to EXO Promotions uh, Next Big Thing Festival at Workman's, and the first act I saw was uh, Savine, who were the first act of the of the festival. And I'd never heard them uh, prior to seeing them that night, and I really enjoyed their performance. I thought they gave a really earnest, really you know sincere and passion kind of urgent performance, and um, that was filled with you know a lot of uh, a lot of joy, a lot of celebration, a lot of love, and um, I, was, I was really enthralled by the whole thing. Um, I ended up reviewing Next Big Thing for the Goo magazine and I gave Savine a very <laughs> a very positive uh, uh, review, which I don't think actually ended up getting published in the end, you know, just the way it is sometimes, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, so like fast forward uh, like a month or two later and uh, Savine's uh, manager, Lana, show Lana, messaged me and was like, hey, you know, I, I, I'm managing this band. Would you be interested in, in uh, interviewing them? I was like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so this is an interview I did with the front person, Saif Garcia Weber. And this interview was recorded on the sixth day that the band's debut single Siren Song was at number one on the Irish iTunes charts. And I actually didn't really know, you know, much about the band or much about Cy herself prior to this. Um I think she said this was like her first interview, which is pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, um I, I thought it was like a very interesting story. So I hope you enjoy. Let's see if I can explain something to together. Okay. <laughs> well it's nice to meet you. Um Thank you. Uh, yeah the first thing I was gonna ask quite simply is like yeah uh, uh, I guess, like, if maybe you could tell us a little bit about your background, kind of me. who you are. Me. Yeah. My, mm. To contextualize everything else, I guess. Well, I guess I'm half Irish, half Mexican. My dad's Mexican mm-hmm. and my mum's Irish, so that's a, a massive part of who I am. Best I of both think. worlds. Yeah, yeah, it, it is the best of both worlds. I'm incredibly lucky. Um, and music wise, my dad's a musician and an artist. My mum is incredibly artistic as well and musical. So that's just been a constant. It was never a word it to come from. It was just a, there it is. You know what I mean? (laughs) And I lived in Mexico when I was a baby, so I was four. I was born here, moved there. And then, so I grew up there with the fam, and that was amazing. And then me, my mum, my sis moved back to Dublin. And then I grew up here from then till now. And What what age you moved back? I moved back when I was about four. Okay. Yeah. So I was I was baby. But, okay, um, sorry, I, I misunderstood. I thought you moved there for sorry. No, 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 no. Yeah, because I, I was born here and then I moved over there as a baby. Yeah, and then back here. But um, yeah, and then just over a little bit of a year ago, I taught myself guitar, finally, <laughs> finally, and songs just started coming out, and it all just started. It all just. Happened. How did you learn? Did you learn uh, just by uh, learning chords and trying to make your own stuff, or did yeah. you try uh, copying other people's music? Um, no, yeah, I just learned through, yeah, other songs, like yeah, mm. the songs that I like, seeing if I could play any of the songs I like, if the chords are simple enough, learn the chords like that. Just remember them. I didn't, didn't do the, like, YouTube videos. I just taught myself through that, and then through, honestly, just looking up chords. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And the rhythm kind of came to me very naturally. Um, I still am learning with you know picking guitar picking. Mm-hmm. That's a whole other thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I have enough going for it, like <laughs> to write the songs. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty you work cool. with other people too, right? So it's like, yeah, yeah. Well, I write all my songs by myself with guitar, mm-hmm. and then I have. Um, we're a seven-person band. <laughs> I have six amazing other people that are on stage with me. Yeah. Every time we gig, I have Cleo Boland on backing vocals and cello. She's incredible. I have Calum on acoustic guitar, Calum Clinch. He's a friend from school, so that's amazing, like from secondary school. Yeah. And then Nalo Connor on electric guitar, a friend from BIM College. <clears throat> you, you attend um, BIM? Uh, that's a whole other thing. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can get back to that. Sure. And, then, and then Killian Galloway, drums. He's amazing. He's incredible. Oh, I just love them all so much. And then there's Theo Rush on sax. He's a childhood friend. And then there's Ben 
Ben Bass, we call him, <laughs> Ben Devlin, uh, bass player, he's amazing, they're incredible, they're all just the best, and they're so talented. How do you find that kind of like wrangling seven people's schedules like it's that? It's tough, <laughs> it's so tough, but I'm so grateful because... Obviously, this music is my top priority, but I can't assume that it's going to be everybody else's. Sure. But I'm just so lucky because they are so passionate. They have the same drive that I do for this, and they're just so down. They're so down. They're so locked in. We're all so locked in and ready for this. And, yeah, they love it. I think the best thing is that we're friends. And at the end of the day, we just have it go on together. So. And we just love music. Yeah. And they're so talented. I'm in awe every time. Every single day I'm with them, I'm in awe. Of do you- do you consider like a, a collaborative project? Because obviously, I mean, the, the project's named after you. So uh, yeah. But how do you find it? Do you... That's a whole yeah. That's that was a thing I definitely had to think of yeah. coming into it because obviously my first ever thing I did with music was a gig, you know, to showcase my music. That mm-hmm. was ladies first that Alana, Dine yeah. and my friend um, asked me to do, and that was my first gig in July, twenty twenty three, and yeah, I had a few different people. I don't have anymore so it's kind of you know it's been a whole roller coaster but um (laughs) so no sorry so when it came to it it kind of that was a question that came up when it came to recording and uh, Syveen and music and what you know I was like someone asked me so what are you kind of showcasing and I was just like oh I don't know (laughs) me my music um so I guess I mean it is a collaborative thing like, I, I wouldn't be able to do it without them. Yeah. Or I could, but it would not be the same. And there's no reason for me to try to do this alone yeah. when I could do it with all these beautiful humans. And we, we're reaching a wider audience with more beautiful people to share our music with. And, yeah, like for now, I do, I do think it's a, just a journey and we'll see how things go. Because yeah. I do love, you know, when I was when I didn't write my own music, I was always singing but I was kind of like whose songs am I going to sing what 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 were whose message am I going to try and share mine do you know so I, it, it still that is what I have in me I, I have I, my words my melodies my music my guitar but but they yeah they are they are incredible yeah <laughs> yeah they're like the heart of everything so, yeah because that's like such a quick turnaround right to go from only kind of like learning about a year ago to like half a year ago already gigging like uh yeah. I don't know, like, how would you kind of, like, find that kind of, like, transition? Because that's, like, it so insane. Crazy. I've been playing guitar for, like, oh, 15 years. And really? I still would never go up on stage. No know? way. Really? Yeah. Oh, you should. You should. You should. The opportunity <laughs> I have done it before. But, you know, okay. Like yeah. Yeah, maybe. Well, um... <laughs> this isn't about me. <laughs> no, no, no. But I just, I was just thinking, well, it's just when opportunities come around, you just got to take them, which is... I don't know when I started I guess after school I just wanted to say yes to everything and all these opportunities and in the last two years I've just met so many people and done so many different things and photo shoots and (laughs) cool things like that I've never done before and um so wait what was I saying well we're talking about like uh, the kind of quick turnaround right oh yeah yeah yeah. oh yes so (laughs) what yeah what's crazy I saw actually a memory from my phone and it's it was a photo that I had written in my diary being like, oh my gosh, I've written so many songs <laughs> already. This is crazy. And I had like maybe 10 songs. Yeah. It's just pretty good going. Oh, yeah, totally. But I didn't have anything really like this time last year. No idea where anything was going, but I was just writing songs. And I, I wrote my first song in December before that. And then my second song, Siren Song, in kind of December, January as well. Came back to, I wrote that in Mexico because I was away for Christmas. And then I came back to Dublin. And then from about February onwards, everything just changed. I met a lot of people in the music industry, friends, amazing people. And it just grew. Everything just grew. <laughs> and opportunities just came around. And I was just so open and just kept writing and kept playing and kept saying yes to everything and kept saying yeah. basically yeah just yes yeah. to everything <laughs> and then when Alana asked me to do ladies first it was just it was the this is it moment mm-hmm. I'm ready I I can't believe I've been asked to do a gig and I have my own yeah. songs to perform and then and then since that I've had a gig since every month since July 
and it's just been amazing and the people come and then they come again and again and they bring other people and they bring other people and then they're asking me when the music is out and I'm just like what I just started this but it, yeah it's amazing it's been amazing well it's kind of like modern living in a way isn't it where it's like you have to have everything like so quickly like yes. you can never just like ferment I think of like you know kind of bands like you know uh, kind of like in, in other periods of time where it's like they could be like around kind of like um, um, getting their sound together in like five years or something then like five years later mm. release an album or something yeah and it's like you know it's, it's interesting because you can kind of uh, cool songs you can kind of like go oh maybe we should rework this song maybe we should just scrap this song you, you work out a set list you work out everything but like yeah you know, it's like that it's just like kind of yeah we're just <laughs> we're just I'm just yeah I'm just taking it as it comes and doing what feels right yeah definitely do you find them um, your head spinning a bit because like you know as you were mentioned like it's a gig every month I mean like yeah. that's you know that's like for somebody who's just kind of like starting I mean that's insane yeah. but it's, it's, I guess it's a good thing I mean like it is a great thing it is a great thing I mean I feel around summer I realized it was tiring <laughs> I was like oh <laughs> damn this is taking a toll but but I I'm nothing but grateful for it but only recently I've realized how much I really need to take care of myself and mm -hmm. my just my health and my body and my mind because I cannot go on this whole journey without you know that being okay. Yeah. That's good and to realize that like quick because like some people like blow out their throats yeah, and stuff like that. Just, exactly. Like, just going, yeah. yeah, just just everything physically and mentally. I just need to. Yeah, just I. That's a big thing right now. I'm trying to make sure that I can do all the basics and do everything so that. Because I, I have such faith that this is go this is happening and this yeah. is about to, you know, about to Blow really up. happen for me. <laughs> so I know that I just need to make sure I'm strong enough and ready for it. Yeah. And for myself and for everybody else because it's not just me in it, you know. Mm -hmm. I've brought six other people along with me. Six at least. There's so many other people a part of this. So, um, yeah, just doing, yeah. What I'm interested in is like, uh, so when you, when you started doing that, like when you did that first gig of Ladies First, I mean, mm. uh, what was your set like? Did you have like all originals? Did you have covers? Uh, how, how the kind of, and, and you were saying you were playing with other people too, so how did yeah. the kind of arrangement differ to what's going on now? Um, arrangement difference is we just didn't have sax or uh, cello. Okay. Cleo, we still had doing back vocals. Uh, we had a different guitarist and drummer, and then that kind of swapped, but. Um, that was, yeah, I started, I remember I did Toxic cover, yep, yep. at uh, started an acoustic <laughs> cover, it was very cool. And then the rest were originals, actually no, two covers, we did a reggae cover as well, it was called, oh, oh Permanent Holiday, okay. that one, so good. Um, so we did those two covers, and then the rest were originals, and then we actually did one of my dad's songs. Luna Yena, which is a crowd favorite. It's a great, it's such a good song. <clears throat> That's lovely that you're like incorporating your dad's music. Yeah, into, no, it's, it's really amazing. Good. And then for my second gig, because I had my first gig in the Grand Social in July, mm -hmm. and then I had my second one in July, in the next month, August. whatever. <laughs> yeah, in the Grand Social also. And for the first time in 12 years, my dad actually came to Ireland. Okay, cool. He had come. So he was there and he was able to be on stage with me and he played oh. drums. And I actually played about 10 different instruments but that was incredible yeah. that wasn't a whole other thing to have him be on stage with me and to also to have him on stage in dublin with yeah, me yeah. <laughs> this is kind of you know my place my my thing and then he was here and i was that was amazing and he gets to say he's played in Ireland. yeah international yeah artists, yeah you know? yeah well he's actually he's he's even done festivals here before oh, really? years ago yeah but um yeah he's he's doing his his stuff too it's amazing it's cool. I mean, um, so yeah, actually, because you were kind of like mentioning there the uh, like doing uh, cover your dad's song. I mean, um, mm. do you do music uh, in Espanol or is it all in English? Yeah, so <laughs> so that song obviously is in Espanol, yep. but I'm trying, I w yeah, I'm trying to, I want to write more in Spanish, I guess. My Spanish, when I lived there, like when I came back to Ireland when I was four, I was yapping in Spanish, yapping. And then I went into an all Irish school. Okay. Nina and then primary school and then secondary school, um, totally Oscuelga, so Spanish kind of, <laughs> kind of, I don't know, fizzled away, but every time I go back, I get it back, Yeah. but it's just, I just need the more practice, more and more, more practice with my Spanish, so then writing is a whole other thing, because yeah. the grammar is mostly where I might kind of lack, mm -hmm. so writing I'd be a bit like, mm -hmm. right. but when my dad came over, we were actually recording for his album, okay. me and my sister, so she, we wrote together, and we wrote in Spanish, English, and Irish together. 
And that was really cool. Yeah. So it was cool to know that I have people also around me that can help me to just do it. And I know that I can do it too. So that's definitely my next kind of step <laughs> is writing more in Spanish. Because I have in my set, in one of my songs, I have a bit of Guelga. So yeah. I'm a bit Shano's kind of vibe to it. So. Well, that's really cool. Like, you know, because you kind of have like uh, not only three different languages, but kind of three mm. different like language groups Romantic, Germanic, and uh, Celtic. You know, it's very interesting kind yeah. of like mix. And, uh, it is. I was wondering how you find like kind of um, Irish culture and kind of uh, uh, Mexican culture kind of like influence you. Um, not even necessarily just your music, but just in terms of the kind of art, the kind of literacy, um, the kind of lyricism and the poetry. Because yeah. um, actually, you were mentioning Siren Song, which is kind of like your debut. and, and mm. uh, I think that's Greek, if I'm off the top of my head. Greek? Like, the sirens. sirens. Well, sirens are Greek. Yeah, the, yeah, it's, yeah, it's Greek yeah. mythology, yeah. Yeah, Homer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the one. Yeah, I know, I'm always the scared about Greek. facts. But, um, <laughs> um, yeah, and well, the funny thing is the sirens actually, like, they're actually, sirens mm-hmm. definition is it's a half bird, half winged, like a uh, creature, mm-hmm. rather than half tail. Yeah. So people actually kind of just mix up mermaids and sirens, yeah. but I'm just kind of rolling with it yeah. because, sure, it's the aesthetic of the two things, you know what I mean? It's the same story, same, yeah. you know, the mermaids do the same, luring their sailors <laughs> to death, so, um, I don't it's, know. It's redundant to have both, no, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. um, I just, I, I've always been into poetry. I don't know, I've not, I can't always say that I've been constantly inspired by, you know, I don't have a favourite poet or a p- favourite author. I barely even have a favourite artist, to be honest. Um, when it comes to what I, what comes out of me, now looking back, like reflecting on the last few months and the songs, I have wondered what has inspired me. Mm-hmm. And then I listen back and I hear maybe music that I've listened to my whole life and I go, oh, my melodies are maybe kind of like that yeah. actually. Like like Irish singers like Lisa Hannigan or random, uh, Regina Spector is, she's not Irish, but she just kind of interesting melodies because I've been told that I have interesting melodies. So then I think about it, I go, oh, okay, yeah. you know, because <laughs> at the time I just, I just, come, I'm just what, Whatever's coming out, it's just it's coming out. I'm not thinking about it. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to try and do this kind of song or this kind of right. genre, or whatever. So, so yeah, it's 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 an interesting one because I'm like reflecting and realizing that maybe I am being inspired, but in the ta- in the moment, I don't know that I don't realize it. It's kind of inspiration through osmosis, I guess. Mm, yeah, too yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's an interesting one. Yeah, it's cool. That's why actually all my songs are so different to each. Well, most well my my next actually yeah my next single is um quite different to my first one. Okay. So it's gonna be a cool change or switch up. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you find then, like, as you were mentioning, because, like, um, I actually I saw you live at the Next Week thing. That's where oh, I first Oh, yeah, uh, I actually, Alana you. mentioned that. Yeah, that's where I first got you. And I, was, I actually really liked the, the performance, not just being thank polite you. or complimentary. No, thank <laughs> you. No, honestly, that was one of our favorite gigs. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I was there. No, I'm joking. No, 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 of course. Yeah. The crowd was great to be yeah, yeah. there. I was. Yeah, actually, the crowd was really good that day because it was a week long festival. Yeah. And the first day you guys played, she was and it was, like, really, like, hopping. And then, like, I know. It was day it one. We were first at. Done. Oh yeah. my gosh, where we? I think we were. Yeah. yeah. Um, in the main room. It was really yeah, good. main. We hadn't done main room, so that was cool. It, it did in the cellar. We had yeah, we did okay. cellar in December yeah. as part of the girls. Have you heard of the girls' room? Uh, yes, I have. Actually. Yes, yeah, 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 so yeah. that was the girls' room collabed with curated okay, cool. Dublin, and I was at their first live show. Oh, sick. so I performed at that. That was really cool. Yeah, yeah. Meg, who runs all that, she asked me to do. She's, she's best. So that was amazing. Do you find it difficult um, when you're kind of like doing such a versatile range? Because like, yes, it is somewhere. Um, actually, um, I was talking to someone and they were asking who I saw, and I mentioned you. Ooh. Um, and they were like, "What's your music like?" And I couldn't. <laughs> it wasn't. It, I couldn't be like, "Oh yeah." yeah. I know. Um, so yeah. Yeah. But that's obviously, my I mean, issue. for like music promotion and stuff, you have to kind of like categorize yourself. You have to kind of like go. Well, it's like the, uh, you, you either do. you have to say genre or you have to kind of go uh, for fans of. X, yeah. You know true. I mean? True. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. That's our whole thing. You ever just Everybody... feel like just, go, just listen to it. No, that's actually what I say because I still don't know what to mm. say um, to this day. Yeah. Like, probably someone yesterday asked me what kind of, and I go, 
I just ask other people, <laughs> what do you think? And they go, uh, I don't know, just watch it. I'm yeah, like, yeah. yeah, because it's... Just yeah. this one isn't. It's like, well, it's not heavy metal. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah <laughs> it's not. But then and there's been times where we're on stage and like, oh, just my lads, like they love, they're musicians, so they love to jam or they love to rock out or whatever. <laughs> and so there's there's sometimes a slight hint of rock in a couple of my songs. Yeah. So sometimes that's lent, like we sometimes they lean into that and it's like whoa we could totally do that yeah. I could totally do this I 100 know I could do a country song I yeah. could make a country hit and like I just it's so cool to know that we can do anything yeah. do you know and I yeah. I don't feel like I'm in a box I don't think I'll ever put myself in a box obviously you upload your song and you have to put a genre to it but look alternative let's say that you know it's, it's, it's very all-encompassing yeah, alternative, yeah yeah so I don't I'm not really um I'm not afraid to not I have no intention of sticking to one thing mm -hmm. or even starting out sticking to one thing because yeah. already siren song has been amazing but the next song is a whole other different type yeah. of vibe <laughs> altogether so I think that's what Sivin is though because mm -hmm. my music is just curation of my emotions and my thoughts and my life so that's never going to be one thing yeah. it's pretty cool <laughs> it's pretty cool <laughs> do, you, do you find yourself constantly like listening to music so far do you kind of like um have like comfort music or how's like uh, your actual diet of music i guess that's a good question i'm i'm a sucker for finding maybe a couple songs and then they're just on repeat yeah. on repeat 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 yeah. repeat um, lucky if it's a couple songs sometimes it's just like one <laughs> yeah. do you know what I mean um, but then there's also just some artists that are a constant do you know mm -hmm. but uh, now I have to say who who yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know say like right with me Hosier yep. I love Hosier I love Irish artists Lisa Hannigan Mary Coughlin yep. they're ones that my mum has shown me and then I maybe grew up being like Ugh, mom whatever whatever <laughs> mom uh, whatever and then now I'm obsessed um, yep. and someone actually after the next big thing um, Hot Press did a, a, a review and they mentioned Florence the Machine oh yeah that's good and person. which is a very cool comparison yeah, I would say very good they said Stevie Nicks as well <laughs> I was like what <laughs> um so I actually started listening a bit more to Florence and Machine afterwards, and I went, oh, fair. That's yeah. kind of, I see that vibe. Like <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, okay, fine. You said they're um, like a cease and desist. Like, yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Who are you trying to be? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I definitely see that, and that's pretty cool. It's mm -hmm. cool to, it's cool to like, it's, I'm learning so much. Yeah, I just yeah. am. It's so cool. <laughs> I'm just experiencing so much. Do you find then, because, like, um, yeah, as we were kind of talking about, like, you were so, like, new to, to actually playing an instrument. Um, mm. Did you find, like, um, I don't know, because, like, I, I think it's a huge, like, show of confidence to kind of go from, from that to, you know, just, like, kind of writing songs in your bedroom to actually, like, performing them live in such, mm. like, a short amount of time. I think, like, did yeah. you find, like, was there ever any doubt, like, kind of going, maybe I should learn more, maybe, because I, I find, like, that often kills a lot of musicians is that, like, uh, you know, you're like, you have great songs or whatever, when you put an album, it's like, no, we have to have, you know, it's, mm. like, it's, it's always just, like, arbitrary uh, kind of self-imposed restrictions where uh, yeah. it's kind of like, well, you know, I can't, I can't do slide guitar yet, so maybe, you know, or whatever. It's always just, like, something that yeah. kind of prevents the art, you know? Um, mm, I have to say nothing's stopping me. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, not in, I mean, no music-wise in this whole thing. I have no time to fear, basically. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's a little Easter egg there. Ah! <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but no, honestly, honestly, I just, I just, this is, this is just what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. And I, I, that has only grown stronger within myself as the time's gone on. But I did know it back then. I knew that this was it. And as I said, I, I did go to BIM. Mm -hmm. I went to BIM for uh, two years. And I would be in third year this year, but I'm not. Um, BIM was the best thing for me. I loved BIM. I had to, I was desperate to meet new people mm -hmm. um, and kind of spread <laughs> my wings <laughs> over to the other side of Dublin. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Because yeah. I'm from South Dublin, which, you know, I, I love, I love Dublin. I, I love my, where I live and everything, but 
growing up in school in South Dublin was not ideal for me. Yeah. I don't think I was. I never felt really in my place. Okay. And I had great friends. I did have great friends, but at the same time, I never really fully felt like I was. I had my people. Mm-hmm. Um, there's obviously a handful there that are the best, <laughs> but. Um, so going to BIM was amazing. I met my best friend day one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that was crazy. And then just, it just, it what, was just, what course did you say? I was doing vocals. Okay, cool. Because so, at the time I had no songs, yeah. no nothing. I didn't play any guitar in school or anything. So I had, to, I had the only choice to do vocals. Mm-hmm. Um, um, met Cleo there, my best bestie. Um, and I met loads of people there. Um, so that was great just for that. That was my only. Um, intention was just people yeah. and then I got into music college and realized okay this is all so cool everyone's so cool okay everyone's writing their own songs everyone is creating their own stuff yeah and sh- releasing or showcasing and and that's where I kind of went oh gosh Sive, yeah. what are you saying what are you doing um and then I was just surrounded by more and more people that play guitar so maybe I did a bit here and there um but so, yeah, BIM. Okay, I actually lost my train of thought. <laughs> but BIM was the best thing ever. Yeah. Mm, but I never went for college or for a degree. Sorry, mom. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? But um. No, but that's fair. Like, but, I mean, like, what's the point? In, like, kind of like wasting your time, like, uh, four years, kind of like, um, just to kind of do what you're doing now. Anyway, yeah, exactly. You know? So. So yeah, I just, I'm doing it now. Which is so cool, yeah. and um, I don't, especially now that I'm not in college, I actually don't have the time. I'm not going to let myself fall back, and you know, I can't imagine ever just not doing this or giving yeah, up. Yeah. You know, sometimes I went, I go, Haha, imagine I just did this and just stopped. Yeah, and everyone goes, "You're crazy," <laughs> and I'm like, "Of course I am. I would never do that because this is this is it. This yeah. is happening. I actually, I don't have it in me to not do this. Mm-hmm. It's too much of a." fiery passion you know <laughs> yeah you're not just like laying around just kind of like yeah uh, you know just being a bohemian yeah. label you know? yeah because honestly my I, oh i've been i'm so lazy yeah. i'm so lazy like anyone will tell you and i have been my whole life i yeah. just and i do you yeah. um have issues with procrastination oh yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, here's, yeah. here's a theory i have look at your perspective on it i think procrastination for the artistic types um are yeah, i think it's kind of a self-defense mechanism in a way because I think mm. everyone has um, everyone's had like great ideas, right? But it's always kind of difficult to actually start the process of creating that great idea. Yeah, I think procrastination is, is like lets the great idea uh, kind of stick in your head a little mm. bit as as an abstract idea. Yeah, um, and then when you actually start trying to make it, you kind of like uh, get aware of your own like human error. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, that's just I my don't theory. Know. No, that makes sense. I mean, that's a good. I, I like that thought mm. process. To be fair, yeah. Um, I, uh, I don't know. It's hard. I, I think I'm lucky. I think I found a good flow. Yeah. When it comes to the music, mm-hmm. definitely. Um, personal life. It's so funny to actually have a kind of career, Sivine, and a personal Sivine. Sure. Now it's funny. It's weird, um, because I see it. You know, I can see my music doing well. But, you know, the last, you know, last week before, the week before the song came out was so rough, you know, mentally, physically draining and lots of stuff going on because life is hard. So yeah. it's just, it's um, it's just a mix of those two and you have to just balance them. So that's why I was saying, you know, I have to be strong so I can do the, both mm-hmm. both things so I can pop off and be strong enough to yeah, do yeah. so. Um, but what... what well, we're <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm the worst. I'm the worst for this. No, we, uh, I think we were talking about, so, you know, you're, like, even though you're not in college now, you're not just, like, squandering that time. Oh, you are yeah. still kind of, like, dedicating I to your artistic endeavors. I found the flow, that's what yeah, I was yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah, I am. Um... Good flow rinse and the machine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm yeah. joking. No, that was um, um joking. Yeah, I mean, because, no, when it comes to college stuff, I could could barely do any oh my gosh doing an essay it was yeah. it was like the toughest thing I ever had sure. to do but writing a song I'm like la, 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 you yeah. know yeah. I've never been so confident in a skill that I have ever yeah. I've always because I mean school was just not my forte mm-hmm. you know, I loved English but that's you know creative writing yeah, I loved yeah, yeah. but anything else you know <laughs> academ- academia was not my best friend do you find them um, studying music um, for you yeah. uh, do you 
ruining the kind of like mystique of the kind of artistry of music, I guess? No, I, I totally understand the... I understand college, sure, <laughs> you know sure. what I mean? Like, I, I understand. Um, I do think it's... I do think what we were taught is important, and I just feel it, it's up to you to to put yourself into it and actually get the most out of it. Mm -hmm. So, like, I know that if I really, you know, taught myself all those vocal lessons and warm-ups and did them every day, mm -hmm. it, it would be such a difference. But that's up to me. Yeah. And that's the kind of thing maybe I won't do, yeah. you know, when I should do it. Yeah. I don't I don't practice my warm-ups every day. I'm very blessed with the great voice. <laughs> I know, I know. That, you know, but yeah, that's another thing I have to do that yeah. I, sh I should do and I haven't been doing. Yeah. But I also feel like because I've been singing so constantly, more than I ever have in my life, mm -hmm. I always I always feel warmed up. But that's that's not it. That's not okay. I have to. But um. But yeah. But so so yeah. It's 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 cool. It's cool to be able to say that I'm proud of myself and being able to do this and and knowing that I can sit down and I actually could write a banger. Yeah. You know. Because I can't say that about everything. Could I do. again. I get, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yesterday I was like, you know what? I think it's just time to write another one. Yeah. And look, look. You'll see. I want to ask actually because you were mentioned the kind of like uh, keeping uh, your strength up, and actually the the show is um, like your performance is very physically demanding. You're kind of like constantly oh, yeah. um, dancing, constantly kind of like jumping around, and kind yeah. of you know also beyond singing, just like uh, crowd interaction, kind of like um, I don't know, kind of also um, um, making sure you're in sync with the band, kind of checking on yeah. them. Like there's a lot, of, like yeah. um, it's like subtle but like you know very important. You know? Yeah, um, yeah. I was wondering like uh, does that ever get demanding for you? Like um. um, um See, that's one of my favorite parts. Yeah. I love performing, okay. and anybody, I think, can see it, anybody. The gig we did on Friday when Siren Song released, that gig and the one you went, you saw, mm -hmm. um, Next Big Thing, were the two best gigs we've done, I think. Band-wise, music-wise, just killed it. Like, yeah. just killed it so tight. And then... Myself, I was just so happy with the performance. Yeah. Just, I love being on stage. I just, I am made for this. You know what I mean? I feel it, and I just, I'm so happy when I'm there. I love singing. I just always, constantly love singing. Yeah. So then I get to just sing and dance with my friends on stage, and have beautiful friends there watching and supporting mm -hmm. and dancing and seeing them laugh and cry to my music. So it's, it is t like I notice afterwards. I actually have never, I've not, you know, ever partied really or gone crazy afterwards, after a gig, because yep. I'm just exhausted. Sure. I feel that energy go, woo, but <laughs> that's what it's about. That, that's my job. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? This is, I don't mind that because I've just had so much fun. Yeah. It's like I'm a good worker or something. Yeah. yeah. Like, but yeah. yeah, no, it actually <laughs> is. It is. It's sweating. But um, I, I definitely want to do more. Yeah. I want to do more. I want to. You know, maybe even some. Nah, I was gonna say choreographed stuff. I okay. don't know. Um, I, I mean, look, bigger, bigger gigs when the time comes soon. Definitely, I'll be doing a lot. Okay. I want there's there's so much more to like Sybean than just the music. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Actually, what kind of venues do you play? You played. You were mentioned Workman's uh, uh, Boat Cellar and Main Room. Yeah. Uh, Grand Social. Like you've uh, you just recently had. Did you headline Wheels? I did. Was it the Main Room or? And no, or I am. Um, I headlined upstairs. Cool. That well, was my third really nice gig. Venue. So I did yeah. Grand Social. Oh, sick. First gig, second gig, Grand Social. And then we just kind of went for it, and I headlined upstairs in Wheelands in September. What was it like getting seven people there? That was... Yeah. <laughs> I've oh, seen like three pieces there, and it's like the worst was, thing, you know? I'm trying to think. Gosh, it's all a bit of a blur. I'm yeah. trying to think. There's a chance Theo may not have been there yet. Sax. Okay. Um, We had cello, I remember. Yeah, I don't think Theo was there yet, so there was... Six people. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that was definitely a squeeze. That was yeah. a squeeze. And I'm not going to lie to you, that was not our best gig okay. at all. And I'd put that very at the bottom. <laughs> but considering that, it was incredible. Yeah. I, I had Because it was a headline, I think, I mean, the room was packed. Like, yeah. It was it was so sweaty room. Yeah. And people were, <laughs> couldn't really, you know, everyone was kind of dancing and couldn't really, you know, it was, it was mad. It like was mad. And sweat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. Falling on stage. Like, <laughs> Not quite, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. But um, that was cool. That was cool. But um, we're about to um, 
do something like that um, by a million. So that's all I'm going to say. Okay. But it's very exciting. But yeah, um, that was cool. It was very cool to, to know that I could just do a headline just yeah, like yeah. that. Just like that. <laughs> and obviously so grateful I had people that were able to help me do it and da 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 But But yeah, all of a sudden everything felt so possible. And that honestly credited to friends that I've met in the music industry and people that I've met and yeah. um, everything because I don't know all you need is a few people to show you things are possible yeah <laughs> really truly so um, one other thing I want to ask is you were kind of mentioned that like you you know you're doing this project actually with friends and people who uh, you're actually close with and people with who are they're not just like session musicians mm. or people you know I was wondering because you were mentioning kind of your lyrics are kind of like vulnerable do you find uh, it difficult to ever like present things to them or no yeah that's that's funny yeah. that's fair because I actually did a song called Your Heart is Safe with Me mm -hmm. it sounds a bit vulnerable you know what I mean sure. um, for the last gig and I guess no I'm never really scared to be vulnerable especially with them I'm not scared I'm not scared I'm never really afraid to because I mean some of my songs I mean Fill Me Well is a song I've been performing since the first gig and that's got some pretty you know vulnerable and darkish deep lyrics mm -hmm. you know um that's just that that that's just another part of Sybene so look like that's just who I am and that that I'm not again that's just another thing that I don't really fear and luckily I just they're just such sweet sweet boys <laughs> I mean you know obviously she's the best but the boy like you know like you know it just gives me hope for for yeah. boys you know what I mean like no, no offense <laughs> but um I am I'm just yeah yeah I'm I can be open we can all be open and honest with each other and we're only getting closer which is amazing cool, yeah. we're only all getting closer and some people know other people closer and more, but as time goes on, I think we're all just, we're getting into such a good flow, and yeah, I don't know, Kaylin was the last, kind of, the last one to join us, the drummer, yeah. um, he's, <laughs> I don't know, nah, because they're all sick of me, they're sick of me just being obsessed with them, <laughs> but I have to be, like, yeah. they're just the best, so, um, yeah, and all, oh, because we got, Siren Song is on its sixth day yeah. on number one iTunes Irish charts, yeah. which is insane. <laughs> so we're all just buzzing, and to be able to give these people, these beautiful humans, yeah. just a reason to smile, mm -hmm. ah, it's amazing. So it's to amazing. be clear, your music is exclusive to the beautiful people. Yeah. Everyone else is exclusive. Okay. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, anyone who listens to my music and is part of Sivine is beautiful. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Sure. No, so. Sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's talk about siren song. So obviously, it's uh, it's it's from the perspective of of a siren, as you were mentioning. Mm. Um, yeah. I mean, what beyond that? I mean, what was the song actually kind of like? Yeah. Uh, what, what was the inspiration for? What was the? Um, it's so funny because I just I had written one song, "Little Beings," yeah. which is a, a cool song. Yeah. I, yeah. It's cool. It's a cool song. Um. Um and. It was just time to write my second song. Let's see what comes out, Sive. You know, mm. I remember I was in Mexico, and then I started writing stuff about like about how you're you've caught me on a hook. I can't swim. I'm waiting for you to set me free. Set me free. Mm. All this, you know, uh, shite. Like <laughs> you know, and I was just I just didn't like the energy that I was coming on. Yeah, and so I just just switched it around. I said, I'll catch you on a hook. Yeah. You know, you'll want me to set you free, and you can't, and you won't. And um, and then I've always just had a thing for mermaids and sirens, and honestly, mythological creatures, to me, they're all real. Like, I, I believe in everything. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I just, it just, it, that, that just flowed. That was easy. Um, the lyrics just flowed. You know, I I like the idea that my whole thing was basically because I switched it around. It was just me telling a story in which women do not suffer at the hands of any men. Do you know that like, this is that story, and I'm not you know this 
woman hating, let's, you know, what, or man hating. <laughs> God forbid, <laughs> woman hating. You know, I'm not that, but this is just, I'm leaning I didn't get into. I to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, no, she because. Hates me. <laughs> no, it's, just, <laughs> it's just leaning into that, you know, that whole world of, sure. of that. And, you know, wrap you around my fingers. You'll think I'm wrapped in yours. I just. I just it's not shit a, that you have to like clarify that though, isn't it? That it's like, hey, you know, I'm I'm making a song about like empowering women. I don't hate true, men. True, <laughs> true. I mean, uh, of course, I didn't have to say that, but <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm no, not no, 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 I'm just no, no, that, like, you know, no, I know. I agree with like, you. Oh I know. I why why, but but look, just in case, <laughs> I don't want to say the wrong thing. It's a bit scary. All of a sudden, I'm straight up like doing the wrong thing. You're saying the wrong thing, but like honestly, I'm pretty cool. So I think I'm I'm safe. People get pissed um, off at everything. So it's, it's true. Like, it's know. true. It's true. Um, but I've definitely, I like to channel that kind of energy, hmm. that siren energy. Because um, also, I'm clearly a woman in this industry, and that's been honestly, I've had a good one for it so far. Yeah. I've not been. I think it's definitely getting a lot better. It is. Well. It is. I because I've been asked it before, and I go, mm, it's not been so bad. But yeah. I do know a lot of males in the industry too and you just obviously you notice things but look i'm just i'm so ready to make my place in the world so yeah. look look <laughs> grand and siren song i think is just a good place to start yeah i think it's a very cool cool sign to start. i think it's a really good introduction if people are unfamiliar too because like when i saw your when i saw your show i mean i i did get that kind of like um it's a logical kind of feeling mm. the very kind of like bohemian sort of um how do i describe it kind of like i don't know it, it really felt very like worldly <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know it's difficult to come up with adjectives but you know it kind of had that feel of like real yeah. like i don't know uh i don't know kind of cosmopolitan sort of like i don't know a uh, multicultural kind of yeah. uh, perspective you know what i mean Very where it, cool. it, it seemed like uh there is a word for it but i can't think of it but you know where you're taking no. influence from kind of multiple just sources everything you know? like yeah, yeah i just feel you can tell it's just not one thing mm -hmm. it's just not um, and also kind of spiritual too yeah definitely yeah. definitely definitely and definitely leaning into a lot more of that as well but it also um, seems very genuine too because like there's some people i think who have certain kind of aesthetics that are kind of disingenuous but i think mm. like um i'm not calling them out or anything, no. but, <laughs> but i think like it's it's very apparent like it, this kind of sincerity i wrote i don't think that i ever got published i actually wrote a review, i can send it on to you if you want no but way. i actually wrote a review of uh, next week thing and the I only had certain artists, and I actually did mention no uh, your thing. I'll s yeah, I don't think oh it ever. Gosh, I don't yeah. think it ever got published. Oh, I'll but, send um, it on. Yeah, I'll send it on. And uh, yeah, and that was the thing I, I said. And actually, I said it to Alana when she was kind of saying, "Hey, would you be interested?" And I was like, "Yeah." Uh, I, I do think that like what's very endearing about your music, what's very captivating, is the kind of sincerity to it all. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, it, it is just like it, it was very earnest. I thought like where it's yeah. like you know like I don't know oh. it's it's someone just kind of like really exposing themselves in a very kind of vulnerable way but yeah. like in uh, I don't know I think it's it's. I think your music's very like uh, hopeful or I, I don't know <laughs> I, I, I don't have to describe it you know <laughs> no I, I do I feel what, I feel what you're saying because I, I I do think so too and I think that's I do think that's what I'm here for you know one of my lyrics is um, filling holes full of hope mm -hmm. and that's like what we're here for yeah. um, and so yeah, so they mentioned um, anthemic yeah, yeah. songs, mm -hmm. and I went, ooh, fair, because <laughs> to be fair, you know, I was like, that's pretty cool. And yeah. um, I do feel I'm here to more, I'm, I think it's more than just music, it's mm -hmm. so much more than just music. I yeah. want to, I want to, uh, I want to change the world, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> I want to help the people of the world in the way that I can. <laughs> which I think is music I, I actually want to ask one other thing is uh, about you mentioned like a lot of the songs you're writing uh, you're doing in Mexico do you find that um, geography influences your, your sound or your uh, um, thoughts or even your moods actually uh, mood definitely mm -hmm. <laughs> mood definitely yeah. because I mean <laughs> I remember I wrote those si Little Being Siren song in Mexico I think that was literally it and then I got back to Dublin in end of Jan and I wrote another song, um, I don't even, I didn't even know the name, it was just Feeling, I don't know, and it was a really sad song, yeah. just about missing Mexico and about, move. you know, just that whole, that whole thing, because it's always the, one of the hardest things to do is to leave, 
but also yeah, just being so grateful that I'm so sad to have two places that <laughs> yeah. I'm sad to leave. Do you know what I mean? Sure, totally. Um, but that was hard. So that definitely has an effect. But overall, I don't think I wouldn't say. Um, I w- I don't know. I mean, yeah. I mean, it probably does. I don't know. I, just, I guess because mood. Yeah, is the b- biggest yeah. thing when it comes to my writing. Obviously, like you know, weather and stuff affects mood. Like, yeah. yeah, all these little things. Yeah, like, everything. Know, rainy Dublin yeah. versus like. Sunny yeah, Dublin. exactly. But see, I, I haven't been back to Mexico since then. Yeah, actually, so. we've been there in December, so maybe it wasn't as sunny. Yeah, no, it been. actually is. It <laughs> is it really? Is. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. all year round. Um, that's an interesting one. I don't really know. I have to. I have to. I have to travel more. Do you know what I mean? I've been stuck in well, when Dublin. Well, you become an international touring act. Well, of course. Yeah, it. I'll see. It's gonna be mad. I can't wait to travel with a band. Ooh. Is that the next thing you'd like to do? Is like travel around tour, even like yeah, domestically, like within Ireland. Would yeah. You like well, to actually, more? yeah. You know, I, I actually know that we could, we could do that. It's just about figuring out what to do because we sure. do have plans. I do are. have. <laughs> I do have things in the works for the next couple months mm-hmm. um so i'm kind of kind of yesterday i went oh do i have to is it already time to plan the next thing and i'm like no no you can let you can let this happen and be happening because i'm still working on whatever is you know this whole rollout this whole thing you know it's not mm-hmm. just siren song siren song is just the beginning so um so yeah i don't know we'll see what happens <laughs> <laughs> afterwards oh but yeah definitely would love to go on tour um, or yeah, Irish tour. I think I think that could definitely be happening soon enough. Okay, cool. Yeah. Would you like to do any uh, festivals or anything? Like I'd love. Up? I would. I I have it in. I do have it in my head that I am doing festivals this okay. summer. Okay. Um, that's. Well, there's so many know, of like them. Now, like so cool. Delusion. Like uh, there's always like, you know, just uh, as I was talking to people like and um, you know, that's a big thing for a lot of Irish acts is like doing the festivals during the season. And I think it's just so many because there's so many options now. Yeah. You know? like, there's so many festivals I don't even I know. know about. So, <laughs> so like, many. So I'm always like on Instagram and then just like a poster will come up True. for like a festival I've never heard of. Yeah, like, there's loads. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess it was annoying because when. Have options. <laughs> yeah, definitely. When, see, when applications were on, I hadn't any music out yet. Yeah. And it was just hard to. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. You know, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny because I've been on this whole journey, but still, when it came to that kind of thing, I'm like, oh, yeah, I need my music. I just, I need this. The next thing that has to be done. Do you have live footage right? The, the I do have people? live footage, but even I haven't. You know, I should do a YouTube account or something and have them all there. But I'm just, oh, <laughs> you know, okay. There's, <laughs> there's where I'm procrastinating. Okay, do you okay. know what I mean? Those little, those little things. Do you want to make the YouTube channel really good? That's very. Proud. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Would you be interested in like music videos or anything like that? <sighs> oh. Yeah. Everything I I I don't know if you I have I don't know if you saw if you follow me on Instagram mm-hmm. but I have um for Siren Song I had two visuals like two videos that Tade um photographer videographer Tade he's amazing mm-hmm. follow me he's amazing <laughs> you need to follow him or whatever yeah. um he's he does he does all my gig videos pics everything photography photo shoots um uh, promo he does everything and he's so we did visuals there. And you, did you see the cover art for the yes, Siren yes. Song? Yep. So my friend Robin, she painted those wings on my back because I obviously oh, yeah. I wanted to interpret the fact that sirens are half bird. Mm-hmm. Um, even though people may have thought I'd have a you yeah, know a tail yeah, or yeah, something, yeah. so I thought it was cool to do something <laughs> different, even though that's actually what it is. Yeah. Um, so I got Robin to do that on me, she, and that was amazing. She love I just love having everyone be involved and. Oh, people like Robin who I don't see enough but I love Robin and so now she's part of my artistic journey you know what I mean yeah and she's at the gigs and she's always comes early and yeah. it's just people like that I'm That's just so, so cool grateful though, for you know, like oh so those. grateful because you know a huge issue I think is always like getting people who are like consistent enough to kind of turn out mm-hmm. you know what I mean yeah and then even my sister's always there and then her her friends have shown up to all the gigs like mm-hmm. people are just so they're so good people are so good <laughs> yeah. you know and, and as long as I keep you know spreading my good energy and I guess real energy mm-hmm. um, I think it's, it's going to keep working but visuals is something I'm so it, that's what I'm saying it's more than just the music yeah, it's, it's everything it's, it's just art it's just every single thing that yeah. I can create I want to do it or even like meeting someone like Alana it's like you always have to have these kind of connections it's always like I know, you know I, think, I think like uh, in a way you're kind of like blessed with like all these like really kind of like uh, good people I mean like you ever just kind of go oh shit you know how much of it is like you know how collaborative like every project is mm. you know what I mean it's like yeah. um, it's, it's insane like how much goes into it you know yeah I mean? no I could <laughs> never 
I could never, oh, how do I say this? I just, I could never take all the credit, basically. Sure. Do you know what I mean? I just, <laughs> I, I, I'm just forever grateful to yeah. everybody who's helped me, starting with my mom. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Everybody. I just, because oh, I just couldn't do it alone. I wouldn't want to. Mm-hmm. And, and everyone, it was just so <laughs> nice. I know the gig, um, the Siren Song release night was so nice. And I didn't plan to have a gig, mm-hmm. but I was lucky enough to have Circa ask me to open and crowbar for them. And sold out gig. Uh, we were on first, but the room was full and the people were just, the crowd was amazing. And I could actually see that people were happy for me. Yeah. And it was so <laughs> nice. I was so grateful. Like, And I hadn't been laughing and smiling like that on stage in a minute. So that was yeah. really, really nice. And I just kind of said to them that, you know, obviously life is, is really crazy right now. It's just so, it's so awful, honestly, sure. <laughs> that at the end of the day, I know that, Myself and these people on stage with me are so beautiful and I know that you guys are beautiful and we're all here and we're good So at least there's that Do you know what yeah. I mean like there, we, we at this point we have to just be so grateful what, for what we do have so That's actually just my mate. I just want to share that. Like, yeah, I just really just <laughs> just want to Show that humans we can work together and we can do it all together and we can be, we can do it, we can do this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what I think is really cool also is, um, as I was mentioning, like, I, I caught you at Next Big Thing, which is, like, you know, a motley of just, like, so, such varied kind of, like, artists and stuff. And I think, like, yeah. it, it really showed, like, how um, what you're doing kind of, like, comes across even to, like, me, for example, who's, like, just a complete stranger, didn't know, was just walking to a room. It's, like, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's very instantly kind of... Um, uh, transmittable, I guess, like what yeah. you're doing. It's, it's, it's like very easy to to kind of catch on to, and and uh, I think being endeared by. No, oh, thank you. Yeah, that was amazing because for next big thing, I kind of saw the first kind of group of people in the front yeah. were people I knew. Okay. And then I look back, and there's all these people I don't know, and yeah. I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> I remember, like halfway through, halfway through the set, I sat down, sang a little sad song, and then. And then I stood up and I went, oh, they're still there. You know, I was like, whoa, this is so cool. It's cool to to actually be aware that there is a new audience here yeah. and that they actually are enjoying it. You know, even after that, you know, getting a few followers from, you know, a few more followers is crazy. And to actually see that every gig, it's a, it's a, it's a, another step forward. And yeah. everything that we do, it's another step forward. And, and it is pretty cool to see that people are are catching on <laughs> and they like it and this response to Siren Song has been amazing yeah that, what's amazing. that like going from like iTunes and what's I can't, I can't believe like, it what, what was, were you doing like much press around there or was it just kind of like oh my god it's just um, or just kind of like yeah, yeah well we were we were pushing the, the like Spotify pre-save loads yeah, yeah. because you know there's just what you do and obviously yeah, yeah, it's yeah. very helpful um, and that was going really well and then I just knew I wanted to push the pre-order I knew a friend of mine an artist, um, he got number one twice actually, um, and so I knew I just I knew this is possible. You know <laughs> what I mean? I know these are these things are possible, and I can't lie. I can't lie. I did not know I would be on day six. Yeah, I, I don't. I, don't, I did not think so. I'm. I thank God because yeah. I don't know how. I, I do know how. You know, but it's just wow. Um, that that's mad and then even to have that to share with the guys and to, with Cleo is really cool and yeah. to wake up and then being oh, still number one I'm like, yeah <laughs> it's so cool and obviously it's not what matters you yeah. know I, I, I thought we might if I woke up and I saw it was there I was like oh maybe a few hours or I'm even a day I don't know a few hours next mm-hmm. day so there I was just like wow okay okay <laughs> amazing and then then the fact that honestly like this this rollout that's about to happen is it's it's a it's a quick one, so it's just the ball's just gonna keep rolling, which is really really exciting. Cool. <laughs> and yeah, just being able to really s- feel like I've established myself as an artist is very very cool. Yeah, and my song's there. I can actually tell people it's there. You can go listen to it, follow it, <laughs> and you'll see more. You know. Yeah. So that's really cool. I've gotten to that <laughs> stage. One well, yeah. final thing I'd like to ask is. Uh, you were mentioning uh, being from uh, Set Dublin and kind of made the gig around town. Do you ever think it didn't get closer to home? Oh, fair. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't think like many venues around Set Dublin. I think yeah, the I don't Lighthouse know. in Dunleary, that's, that's what I was about to say. That's the only place I know that there's I'm, You know what? I'm actually dying to... I should just go scouting. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
everywhere and anywhere because I know there's a bazillion other venues yeah. more so than all the ones we've done already. Could, you, you know? Okay, I have a suggestion. Would yeah. you do uh, like uh, what do you call them? I'm trying to think like a uh, community theater sort of thing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I <laughs> Where mean, they have like the you know the local props kind of. Yeah, I know what you mean. In. It'd be cool, I guess. <laughs> Because I think it's cool, like, it's, it's adaptable to kind of, like, because what you're doing, I think, is adaptable also to kind of, like, art festivals and yeah. to, um, uh, kind of, maybe uh, different venues that don't necessarily put on, you know, yeah. gigs. Yeah, no, you're right, because I have, there's been places, and I'm just like, this would we'll be a great ideas. place for a gig, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And even this, you know, I mean, it's, it's obviously it's like <laughs> in a lobby, lobby yeah. but you know what I mean? Don't tell anyone, just come in and say, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't know if you know the fumbly, it's, yeah. uh, do you? I don't. I'm not oh, sorry. Right. <laughs> saying, it's yeah. just yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a. It's a cool restaurant. Yeah. Um, and there just is a cool good stage. I went. This would be unreal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I just. I would love to do more places like that. Uh, w Punk, a friend, um, had an EP release party there, and honestly, there's just loads of plants around there, and I was like, this is definitely <laughs> it. I wanted. I'm having a, a, big project thing in June, so I um, I was even thinking that for that, but. We've sorted that. That's whatever okay. sorted, mm -hmm. and it's very exciting. Um, I'll tell you that after. I'll tell you that <laughs> off record. All right. All right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I because I want like Sivine is obviously like I think I've said it ten times more than the music. So it's a set design is a whole thing as well. I really want that energy. I want people to come into whatever they're coming into. If it's a yeah. Sivine thing, and to to just be welcomed with like good energy to come in be like and everyone's just like just happy and, <laughs> and comfortable yeah. and safe and free to be their own beings yeah it's very inclusive yeah i think if you see that i'm being totally open and honest and happy to just be me yeah they will too and my band too uh, yeah 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 it's a learning pro process for all of us we're all learning together so that's cool too Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I guess the final thing I'll ask, you kind of alluded to a little mm -hmm. bit, but like, what does the rest of 2024 hold for you? Do you think? Um, <laughs> oh, I, oh, it's, it's a little crazy. bit of everything. A little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't have, you know, the second half of 2024 worked out at all. Yeah. Because I think the next few months is going to well, go tell your, me. Like your uh, speed so far, you're going to be like a tree arena. But yeah, look, something. look, 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 look. <laughs> I'll say yes. You'll probably I'll be like the president of the world or something. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I actually, I, I think, I think, I do, I, sorry, I do think sorry. this is going to be a massive year. Mm -hmm. uh, probably the biggest one in my life so far. Mm -hmm. um, so the next few months, April, May, June are planned and I'm very excited <laughs> and it's all going to happen real quick and yeah, I'm not going to say anything yet because okay. I, it's all a surprise, <laughs> um, but I'm really, really excited and I, it's, I mean, I just need my music out there basically, you know, so mm -hmm. I, yeah, that's what's going to happen with that and that's, that. the next thing is just to wondering what happens next, like I guess I just... I'm putting up. I'm, I'm putting things on for myself and for the band, like for Sivine, and then I'm just gonna see what comes to. Do you know? Okay. I don't really. Yeah. It's like there's a plan there, but then there's also a, and then we'll see yeah. what happens next. You know what I mean? I don't really know. I don't know because I'm still. I'm. Just, I feel like I'm just a baby. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, yeah. I don't really know what to do. <laughs> and th thank God I just have so many people that can also help me. You know, even. You might be asking how old you are. 21. Okay, cool. Yeah, 21. Okay. Yeah, you are a baby. <laughs> yeah, I am a baby. Uh, September. So I'm 22 this year, which okay. is mental. Um, no, no, okay, now you're old. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. But no, I'm, yeah, I am young, so I'm thankful for that too. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's all very exciting. Yeah. It's all very exciting. And it's yeah. spring now, so I'm just happy here. Yeah. Happy here. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm just, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm very excited. Hopefully, you get to a point in your career where you can uh, bring the band to, to Mexico and oh, oh, play. That'd be cool. Yeah. Huh? No, that's, that's, that's in the works. <laughs> that's the plan. 
Oh, you shit, know, I think some it? of them. No, 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 no. That's just a plan because we just want to go. I just, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just want to bring them all, which is it's mad because Theo. Sax- like, I'll show you around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Theo, my friend, my saxophone player. Yeah. He actually was in Mexico last okay. year, uh, which is mad because he's <laughs> like, like he didn't tell. He's, no, 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 no. He's my godmother's son. Oh, sick. so we've been friends since we were babies. Oh, so he actually came because he was finally co- he finally came to visit us in Mexico. That that was amazing. So he knows what it's like. So he. And all, all, all the band members are going to love Mexico. Like, it's going to yeah. be the best place ever. My dad has, you know, his kind of studio set up there as well. Drum kits, everything. Everything. So yeah. that's, <laughs> yeah. Once we make a bit of, once we start making a bit of moolah. Bit of you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, like, it's all been great. But, yeah, like, yeah. where is the money? No, I'm joking. I actually. No, it's, it's, a, it's a fair I request mean, because there's so much money go, goes into it does. everything. It does. Like I mean? a lot of production. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, obviously, live. I mean, everything. Say. Everything. I don't Rehearsals think people realize that. Like, like alone. You, you know, know what sucks? Like, I don't think people realize how much, like, even a small venue costs to rent for a night. And, like, but you also have to keep ticket prices low to mm. entice people to come in. I know. It's, it's a whole thing. Yeah. It's, it's like, thing. it's actually, it's interesting because, like, uh, you mentioned earlier Stevie Nicks, and I saw people, like, were kind of going crazy at, like, your ticket prices. Like, oh, they were, like, 200 yeah. quid a ticket or something. And, uh, you know, it seems like the kind of arena shows and the kind of stadium shows are just getting, like, even theater shows, like, um, are getting, like, prohibitively expensive. Yeah. But, like, I, I actually find that, um, Club gigs are getting cheaper. It's weird. Like yeah. I've seen like a lot of five euro shows with like five bands on. Like what the hell? How yeah, can, like those kind of g- some of my gigs that I've done, <laughs> yeah. for, you know, cheap enough. Um, even like even like a tenner for three bands is insane. Yeah, you know what I mean? I yeah, know. yeah, true. I mean, I I've definitely done gigs with just four or five, mm-hmm. with five seven euro. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just put on a good show. That's all I think about. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but yeah. I don't know. Okay. So yeah. when are you going to start charging 50 quid a ticket for a show? <laughs> oh, yeah. So that's what no, I'm saying. No, No, that's the thing. I want to... I don't know why... But it is difficult. I, mean, I, like, like, so, I, I just don't know why they're so expensive. Well, for... it's just, I think the economics of being a musician... Well, obviously, I think, like, yeah. there's just money. But, like, I think, like, just... Uh, like, I, I am interested in kind of, like, you know... Um, a lot of musicians because like you were saying like you know kind of jokingly about like moolah but it's like it is true I mean like there's so much yeah. money that goes into it. Yeah. even like um, uh, I don't know do you, what distributor you use if you use distro kit or what but like yeah. you know you have to pay for that it's yeah. like it's, it's cheap it's like 15 it is, or something but all these little bad. things add up exactly you know I mean? you know and I mean? then I have six other people yeah yeah who are putting their time it's and their insane. effort and I'm just so grateful because they love it so much, and then that's why they're doing it. Stuff, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Everything, everything. But it's all so worth it. That's why it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it is so worth it. But um. But I don't think it's I don't think it's unreasonable to ask to get paid. <laughs> no, no, and not anymore, and not not for the shows we're putting on. Yeah, I can yeah. I can I can actually proudly say that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We put on a good show. Yeah, it's very yeah, fun. You do. I can confirm. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank I, you. Thank I, you. I, I can. Uh, yeah. Thank uh, you. Uh, Piggyback on that. Very um, good. I guess is there anything you'd like to have before wrap up, or oh, hmm, no, I feel like I said a good bit there, didn't okay. I? Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I guess. Doesn't you're gonna regret going like she should said. Oh, okay, wait. Let me think real quick. Uh, <laughs> Take all the time you need. I don't know. I guess. I guess I'm just very big on the the fact that I'm here. I know I've been like made for this and it's more than the music and I'm you know I'm here for humanity yeah. do you know what I mean sure. because it's just such a crazy world that I am um, I, I, I I feel it in me I need I have this need to 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 be a voice and a strong something for the people yeah you know <laughs> figureheads yeah like yeah Leader is a big word. Do you know what I mean? Leader is a big word. <laughs> um, but look, we're only beginning. It's the only, it's only the beginning. And um, get in early. You know, yeah. say you were there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just start with the music, anyways. So yeah, we'll yeah, just totally. start there, and um, just keep doing my thing, and hope people like it. And yeah, 
that's it really i don't know yeah i love my band <laughs> that's yeah. all you know i'm just so great the fans are great the Everyone fans great. i love my fans <laughs> no i'm just my f- just friends you know are just yeah, yeah. so i'm so grateful i'm so grateful to know so many people even my mom has kept in touch with so many people in life do you, you know fi- what i mean do you find that actually as you're kind of, sorry i keep i keep like oh yeah we're fine but i think of another you're like fine. do you find like because you're mentioning kind of like uh you kind of organically you've sort of grown a lot of these kind of like um uh uh, relationships and kind of friendships and, and, mm. and you know uh, professional and friendly I guess yeah uh, do you find that that's something that just like is coming naturally uh, or is that something you, like purposely go oh, yeah. that person's good at sound I'm gonna um, <laughs> not really as in to help with the music or just, just in general I mean like to help kind of like uh, what you're doing the project you're doing do you um, find that you hone in on people or do you find it's just kind of an organic thing that kind of... I definitely you there's definitely times you meet people and you go oh, yeah, 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 you know, think keep about this. You know, keep that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because honestly, the more people you know, the better. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. We do everything together. We we do it all. You yeah, know, yeah. we can do it all together. Yeah. We can't do it all alone. Yeah, I really don't think so. <laughs> um, sure, you could. Oh, look. Um, <laughs> don't contradict so, you. Right. I know. Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> no, I'm just being a dick. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> You're so right, though, because I always like I stand like standing what I say, and they go like maybe though, do you know? I don't no, that's know. the thing you always like. It's when you give someone advice, you go yeah, but yeah, but I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, look, look, it's up to you though. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the end, it is up to you. I can say whatever I say, but yeah, whatever you take from what I say. Um, yeah, you come out to the shows; they're really good. So. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. yeah, um, I have a gig on the twenty third actually. Yeah, do you want to um, plug it? Hmm? Do you want to plug it? Yeah, well, it crowbar. Um, okay. uh, Jose Zay. I don't know if you know Zay. I'm opening for him. He's releasing an EP, so that's very exciting. That'll be cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, just be good crack. And that's um, two days, three days before another exciting little thing. So I don't know. You know. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, All the fun. things are going like really. Like, yeah. Insane. No, that's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> it's all happening so fast. I can't believe it. Uh, yeah. I'm ready. Do you actually? Final, final question. <laughs> do you do you enjoy that? Do you enjoy the kind of um, uh, the velocity of things, kind of being so uh, speedy, or do you kind of would you like to chill out? <laughs> no, I'm happy with this. Yeah. I guess. Well, I guess it all it's all felt kind of kind of like not tiptoeing, but a slow or a steady pace with the gigs. You know, right. was, I guess it was a steady pace. And then, but then I got impatient, and I was like. Um, the next gig I do has to be a Sivian gig or I have to have music out. There's just something that doesn't feel... I'm on, it's not that I'm bored, but mm-hmm. it was just I'm ready for the next step. Yeah, you know? yeah I think was, that's like a really good... Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. so that's... and then but, You find so, that when you release a project, then you're just like... <sighs> till yeah. the next thing then. I know, but that's the thing. I already I was doing a photo shoot yesterday for the next thing I'm doing. And, and you know, I'm just... I'm so, I'm so on it. I'm so ready. Because I, I don't want to just to have Siren Song be done. Okay, now let's think about my next song. Do mm-hmm. I need? I I, I want to do this right, and I've seen how it's done right, so I know how I can do it. That's the issue um, too, with like just like to kind of uh, keeping that pace is like. Yeah. I don't think anyone's really figured out like how like the right amount of uh, uh, space between releases, the right amount of like even something like Super, it seems inconsequential, but it matters for like spacing out your, like your social media posts yeah. and stuff like that. I feel no. like, that like people are very calculated about that. I'm like. I could not. I know, <laughs> you know I, I mean? know. Even like TikTok, I'm trying to, you know, I haven't even posted, <laughs> literally it's a struggle, you know, I yeah, haven't sure. posted something for Siren Song on TikTok yet and I'm just like, I know it could be, I know that could be such a different, that could do such yeah, so, a huge yeah. thing. But TikTok's so mean, I don't know, I don't, <laughs> you know, it's so mean, it's so difficult, but so I mean, look, I don't, I don't know, I don't. That's like procrastination as well. I know I could, you know, make some cool videos there and I just haven't yet. Mm-hmm. But, all these things take time and I, I my thing is I'll do it when I want to and I'll do it when I feel I need not feel I need to but you know people for years were telling me to learn guitar write your own songs learn guitar I'm like mm-hmm. leave me alone I'm just a kid yeah. you know I whatever I wanted to do I just you know and then I, w- I just got to the point I was like can't do this anymore learned the guitar and look at it I did it Look, I've written my songs, but it was all on my own timing. Yeah, yeah. you know, and and that's that's just the way it's, it is. Mm-hmm. And I know that kind of thing of if I want something done, I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna do it. When I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna yeah. do it. You know, and it's gonna be done. And and it's, it's it's cool. It's all up to me, which is cool. 
Uh, it's cool because you're in kind of like uh, one of the creative fields where because you were mentioned like you kind of got what you wanted out of college and you were able to kind of go okay I'm already on the trajectory I want I'm just gonna you yeah. can't really do that if like you want to be like a solicitor you no know? Like, yeah like, I know I know you can't be like look I know trust me I'm not <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. you can like like yeah. it's one of the few kind of I think career paths where it's like I don't need the degree I yeah don't I made the connections not. you know yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I'm gonna be the lecturer next year. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Oh, I'm just. I'm very. I'm very lucky. Yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah. Thanks for your time. I'm very grateful. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. Thank you. This is so fun. This is so fun. My first interview. Why not? <laughs> not my first but yeah, yeah well look, first from me <laughs> first from you first yes. of many hopefully and yeah but yeah no definitely we should oh my gosh no because of, imagine we did one this time next year yeah uh-uh it'd be like remember those um billy Eilish things oh she did oh, with Rose we song for every oh, year no, she asked the same that. questions oh. yeah <laughs> No, because but like, I've actually thought of those. One of the questions I asked was, what's your plans for 2024? So I just asked oh, that every yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it's yeah, like 2028. Yeah. And like, what's your plans for 2024? Oh, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh, yeah, so fun. Very exciting. We should do that, though, next yeah. year. That would be great. I'll hold you to it. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for having your time. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. This is so good. Uh, thank you for listening to that episode of postburnout.com interviews. If you liked it, please subscribe and stick around because we have plenty more like this coming soon.